all right guys so hello and welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about an important concept sometimes we get to see one question from here right that is mean deviation curve or normal distribution curve so it is around 11 30 p.m in the night and i'm done with my regular classes so time for some youtube sessions i'm sure you are enjoying the series and you have watched each and every statistics video if yes and you're enjoying it then please continue and this will again as like the previous videos will definitely help you to learn a new concept so mean deviation curve let's see what is the concept behind it and then we'll of course try some questions if you already know the concept directly jump to the questions and try them out if you're able to do them perfectly fine let's see what is the concept behind it all right guys so every normal distribution that means any set which is normally distributed so this will be mentioned that there is a set which is normally distributed and if not mentioned we'll have to take it normally distributed set so for any normally distributed set there is a mean since it is normally distributed it means it is symmetrical about the mean so 50% of the entities are greater than mean and 50% of the entities are less than mean. So if I say that the mean of the set is 10, so 50% of the numbers are greater than 10 and 50% of the numbers are less than 10. That is the simple meaning of normally distributed. Further, in normally distributed curve, the 50% of this area, the greater than mean area is divided into three standard deviations i hope you remember the deviation we calculated the standard deviation in the second or third lecture so now we have three standard deviations from mean to first standard deviation we have 34.1 percent of entities from one standard deviation to two standard deviation we have 13.6 percent entities and as soon as the deviation increases the number of numbers in that region decreases from 2 to 3 standard deviation we just have 2.1 percent of entities now i'll take some example and then this will be further more clear right now have a look at this example so guys let us see that the mean is 40 for a set and standard deviation is 5 so at the center i'll have a mean of 40 40 plus 1 standard deviation that is 45 40 plus 2 standard deviation that is 50 and 3 standard deviation 55 so 3 in the front and 3 standard deviation at the back so this will be 35 30 and 25 because the deviation is 5 so 40 minus 5 35 40 minus 10 that is 30 40 minus 15 that is 25 that simple now it simply means that 40 to 45 you will have 34.1 percent of the numbers 45 to 50 that is first standard deviation to second standard deviation you will have 13.6 percent of the numbers 50 to 55 you have 2.1 percent of the numbers similarly 35 to 40 34.1 percent of the numbers you can note it down and you can remember it as well although in the questions this will not be required what will be required is just that you are able to draw the diagram, write down the mean and write down one standard deviation, two standard deviation and three standard deviation. We will see the questions and it will be more clear. If we know this much, absolutely perfect. It is quite symmetrical. So if this is 13.6, this is also 13.6. So one standard deviation to two standard deviation in negative has the same area as one standard deviation to two standard deviation in the positive side total this comprise of 50 percent 50 percent that's it let's see a question and you'll understand it further more have a look at this question so we have some numbers so we have a set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 elements in the set all right now what happens is standard deviation is also given to us that is 22.4 perfect how many of the scores are greater than one standard deviation 
So out of these scores, how many scores are greater than one standard deviation? Now, let's go to a white page and try it out. As already told to you, we need to calculate the mean so that we can calculate the exact number of one standard deviation. So let's quickly calculate the mean of this particular set. Add smartly guys. So I'm clubbing the five ones, 45 and 55, that's 100, right, gone. 75, 75, that's 150. These two are also taken. This is 300, perfect. 60 and 40 another 100 and this is a 50 so 300 400 500 and this is 200 so 700 total how many numbers already counted before that was 10 i guess so what is the mean sum of the numbers upon number of numbers so the mean is 70 now i can draw my rough chart something like this mean is 70 Standard deviation is already given to you. That is what? 22.4. Numbers greater than one standard deviation. So what is the one standard deviation? 70 plus one standard deviation. So one time 22.4. That is 92.4. Now the question says how many numbers are greater than one standard deviation? So how many numbers are greater than 92.4? That simple. The question is simply asking us how many numbers in the set are greater than 92.4? Clearly the answer is these three numbers, 100, 100 and 100 greater than 92.4. That's it. So the answer is 3. Similarly, you can do for the any question like greater than 2 standard deviation, 3 standard deviation, negative of 1 standard deviation, negative of 2 standard deviation. Don't worry, it will give you how many numbers are greater than 1 standard deviation from the negative side or from the left hand side. Simple. Right, so you will be very easily able to understand whether you have to go back or front. And if it does not mention, it simply says greater than one standard deviation, I'll take it to be a positive standard deviation. I hope it is clear. If not, please watch the last two slides and it will definitely be clear. I'll take you to another example. Let's try one more. Similar set. I have not changed the set. Same set I have kept so that we know n was 10 and mean was 70. Now the question says how many of scores lie within one standard deviation? Within one standard deviation above the mean of 10 scores. So within one standard deviation. Let's just go ahead and draw the figure. So you know that the mean was 70. Perfect. Now be very careful within one standard deviation above the mean so one standard deviation was 70 plus 22.4 92.4 so this is the area within one standard deviation and above the mean how many numbers between 70 to 92.4 i guess one and two just two numbers right if the question would have been within one standard deviation and this was not written now when I say within one standard deviation, then it would have meant from minus one standard deviation to the above one standard deviation. So minus one standard deviation would be 70 minus 22.4. So somewhere around it is 48.6 I guess. So the area between 48.6 and 92.4. If I say within one standard deviation, if I say within one standard deviation above the mean, then it is 70 to 92.4. Mean above and one standard deviation below. Now within one standard deviation, nothing mentioned like above the mean or below the mean. So it is about this entire region from minus one to one. So 48.6 to 92.4. Then you will have one, two, three, four, five. Then the answer would be five. I hope it is quite clear. That is it, what you need to know about the bell curve or normally distribution curve, whatever they call it. The idea is simple center is mean it is totally symmetrical then mean plus one standard deviation mean plus two standard deviation mean plus three standard deviation similarly this side and he'll give you the standard deviation you don't have to worry all right and the number of elements how to find out you now know it i hope you have enjoyed the series please like share and subscribe 
I'll make sure that I bring each and every content, every corner of the GMAT in the videos so that if you have gone through them, you definitely know the entire syllabus and definitely score quant 50. No question can come out of these concepts. You may find very similar questions as well. Right? So just so stay focused, keep joining the sessions, watch all the videos thoroughly, make your own notes. And if you are looking for any practice questions, you don't have to worry guys. I'll provide you all. Just text on the below number given over there and I'll make sure that the question banks reach at your end. You can also just simply send a text or WhatsApp to this particular number mentioned in the about section of the video and you'll receive whatever you want. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye and stay tuned.